What's up? What's good? Matt Clark here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Sunday? I'm doing great. My girl's doing great. My family's doing great. I hope each and every one of you are doing great. Even though times, let's be honest, aren't that great. If you could please hit that like button. If you could please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button to get all of my videos when they're new. If you can share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that'd be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. And the link is in the description of all of my videos. So I'm just doing a little bit of vlogging. And I'm not going to show you my face. I'm going to show you the beautiful landscape here in Northern Ontario as I drive along. I saw a bald eagle yesterday. First bald eagle I ever saw in the wild. Made my whole trip. Except then my trip got ruined almost by a scammer of a hotel manager. Honestly, I stayed in a hotel or a motel last night and the guy tried to say that I smoked in the room and charged 200 bucks to my credit card even though I never smoked in the room. It's BS, scammer, scammer. And it really upset me, almost turned me back in time because I almost decided to smash his teeth in. It's what I wanted to do. It's what I would have done five years ago. But now I'm smart and responsible and uh, I could uh, just uh, fight it with the credit card company. I guess I don't have any other choice. I did not feel like going to jail. So just a word to the wise. Stay on your toes at all time and, and understand that there are a lot of bad people out there that are going to try and pull the wool over your eyes and rip you off. But at the end of the day, it's how you react to that that will define you. And, uh, you know... Years ago, I would have very easily went to prison for that. That would have been enough reason for me to do something stupid. So, you know, obviously I, I share my stories with you guys. So you guys don't have to go through these things, you know. But uh, this guy, just a bad person. And I almost, almost let him ruin my trip. So what does that tell me? That tells me that I've come a long way. That tells me that I'm a lot more patient and I have a lot more understanding of how the world works because there was a point in my life and I'm sure a lot of people that watch my channel still go through this where they have a hard time not reacting as a convict or as a convict would in a circumstance like that. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, I hope you guys understand that life is more valuable than pride I don't know if that makes sense but to me it's like a lot of the time I would let my pride get in the way of uh, being able to live my life and uh, I just hope none of you make that decision from this point for further and I hope that by me sharing this with you guys you guys understand a little bit more about the realities of dealing with civilian-esque people. Because this guy's clearly not a civilian. He ripped me off. But if I would have smashed his face in, it would have been me that went to prison because it's a civil matter, right? Like, at the end of the day, this is how business works. This is how business uh, uh, scammers get away with stuff, Const construction scammers, because they lodge you into the... Uh, uh, fighting it with your credit card company and all those processes which take forever and in the meantime they're laughing with your money so <clears throat> I'm just going to learn from it I'm going to learn that I need to be smarter with my choices I need to plan better because that's a big problem we, we didn't plan properly and we just kind of showed up and expected to be in a good situation and that's not what happened so from this I've learned that organization and planning are a huge part of any trip. 
it's not really good to be spontaneous on these kind of things if you want the best outcomes and don't want to put yourself in bad predicaments. If you could please hit that like button, if you could please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button to get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that'd be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of all of my videos. So as you can see, this is beautiful up north. We're almost in Wawa and uh, it's crazy to me. I've never been this far up north in my life. Even when I lived in British Columbia and we drove there, we drove through the States. So this is all new to me and uh, I'm really, really, really suggesting that you guys get out, man. Take a road trip, experience the landscapes. Like look at how beautiful this is. Look at this. This is stunning. I didn't think on, and Ontario really had landscapes like this. You know, like where we're from down south, it's a lot flatter. It's a lot more boring up here. The trees are bigger. I'm seeing moose signs. Don't hit the moose. It's just a whole new experience for me. And I hope that one day you guys realize that these are the things that count. I know a lot of my subscribers do realize that, but I, a lot of people watch because they need help. And uh, I think a lot of the time in our lives, we take the small things for granted and we expect these instant rewards and gratification instead of just enjoying life and not worrying so much about positive, immediate uh, expectations or, or uh, instant gratification. And I think as soon as you're able to start living like that, life becomes a lot more enjoyable and... Uh, you're just able to move on and and really stop worrying about the things that put you in bad predicaments and circumstances in your life. Like, I didn't have to go to prison a lot of the time. I chose to by bad decision making. I didn't have to be an addict, but I chose to be by bad decision making. So I guess, you know, I'm not trying to preach. I would just say um, at the end of the day, your life is in your hands and you're the only one who can really set that path. Nobody can do that for you. And uh, if you don't work for it and you don't enjoy the process, then you're selling yourself short. The process is everything. Anyways, um, I'm not trying to be preachy. Like I said, I just want what's best for you guys as much as I want what's best for me, you know? And I think that a lot of the time in life, uh, we expect these grandiose luxuriousness because we've been taught to consume. That's what we do. We consume. We, we, we need the top of the top everything, right? And I think if you can just kind of shut that down a little bit and start to enjoy life and the small little things that go into every day, uh, you'll be amazed at how much joy you can actually get out of things that typically you wouldn't have even acknowledged, you know. Anyways, love each and every one of you, the new Matt Clark. We will be vlogging again. Look at this beautiful landscape. We'll be back.